So, hi, this is Acadia. Hello, YouTube. We have decided to restart um, my mother's channel, and we are getting some coil. So, today we're going to be working on the cage. Say hello to my father. Hello. This is the base of it, and... We're utilizing scrap wood that we have to best fit. Save money. <laughs> yeah. These are the legs that's going to be holding it up. And here's our little plan right here. This is going to be the quail run. And that's what we're working on right now. That's the base that I showed you. And then here are those posts. So my dad just cut them up. And basically today we're going to be working on the frame. And maybe, just maybe, if we have enough time putting in like the wire or something. So, what do you have to say about building this cage? Bob the Builder's got nothing on me. <laughs> and, another thing. So, this is the hutch overview. There's going to be a door on the side so we can clean it up. Most people have trays under it, but we decided to try to make it simplified. So we have a just wire part, and then we have a wood flooring. So that's why the door is there, so we can clean it up. We decided to make a small wall, and we're going to fill it with hay. So even though they don't necessarily need a nest like chickens, but so they can feel comforted or something. I don't know. And then... We tried to draw like what the quail would be. I think the quail would be bigger in perspective. And the food would be right here. And the water would be here. And see where that little door is? That would connect to this, where the run would be six feet by four feet by four feet. <laughs> and then here is a like enlarged version of it just to see like the, what the outside would look like. Um, so all of this is that frame, so we're going to need the frame to hold the wire. This part would be the wire, and this part would be the wood. And most cages have really tall, well not really tall, but taller posts. We decided to use smaller ones because we're not really big on buying wood, like my father said. We are more of... Recycling. Well, plus, it's also lowered to the ground so the quail can come in and out easier. Yeah, because with the run, there's going to be kind of two layers. This, when it's going to be like this, it's going to be a little, like, bridge, kind of. So when they're running around over here, they can go inside of here for, like, extra room. We are going to be... Cuts. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna walk outside because cutter's really loud. Walking down the driveway. So over here in the woods, this is where it's gonna be. Well, we're not in the woods, but here's gonna be the run that we showed you earlier next to the hutch, right next to our shed right here. So the run will be no flooring so they can just scratch around on the grass and moss and like dead leaves. And then in the winter time, because we don't want them to just play around in the snow, we will take the hutch, not the run, but we will move the hutch, which is kind of big, and we will go take it into the garage here so they can still be kind of warm for the winter. Right now, we would kind of call it spring because, well, the birds are singing and technically the flowers should be blooming. But, yeah, it's kind of warm enough to, it's kind of warm enough to move them right now, but we don't have the quail yet. 